Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Namibia, land of the brave. Brave men and women who dedicate their lives to protecting a country of harsh terrain, ancient cultures and vulnerable wildlife. Namibian conservationists Dr. Rudy and Marlies van Vieren are on a mission to travel the length and breadth of Namibia to meet these intrepid individuals and to witness the incredible work they undertake on a daily basis. These are the unsung heroes of Namibian conservation and these are their wild jobs. If I had a normal eight to five job and I was living in town on a Saturday morning like today, my wife would probably have told me to go and mow the lawn. But this is Nankuse and this is a farm and we've been up since four o'clock this morning with an electricity cable that went and after my sixth coffee of the morning, Marlies just told me to go and play animal sudoku. So we need to move the wild dogs to the cheetahs, the cheetahs to the caracals, the caracals to the wild dogs. I think that's the order. But well, well, we'll see. Let's go. With Rudy on his way, Marlies pays a visit to Jupiter, one of the caracals at Nankusi. Jupiter has been in this small enclosure now for six months. And she came in as a little one with an injury and we couldn't just put her in with the older ones. She had to stay in quarantine and she had to get bigger because the problem is if we put babies in, caracals specifically, they'll either kill one another or hurt one another very badly. But today, I think I'm more happy than she is. Um, she's getting space. She's gonna go into a nice big camp. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a pre coming through for me. In the meantime, Rudy is on his way to meet and brief Sila Fenter, non head of volunteer projects and her team of volunteers. He'll need a lot of help to move the animals. Okay, Sila, here's our plan. Right, the cheetahs in the tent camps. Yep need to move to the cheetahs yes, next cheetah. door. Yep. The wild dogs, the two wild dogs, needs yep. to move to the cheetahs. The caracals needs to move to the wild dogs. The wild dog. We set the cages there, try and capture them. If we can't capture them without them, we set yep. the cages there. If we can't capture them without awesome. them. These guys we dog from the start. Right. Good? Got it? Yep. Very good. They're going to start with two young cheetahs. Although they are used to people, they are not so tame that they can simply be walked to a new enclosure. They'll have to be caught, and this is easier said than done. Plan A is to try and lure the cheetahs into capture cages. In this way, they won't have to be darted. they definitely know that something out of the ordinary is happening. So just to explain how this capture cage works, just imagine I'm the Karabab cheetah, male, coming in here, looking at the meat, and the moment, that I step onto the trigger plate here and I'm caught. So now I can chew on my meat and wait for Sila and her team to come and get me. Come, 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 come. 
So we've set up the capture cages here in the cheetah enclosure now. So we're hoping that they come into the cages. We can capture them, put them in the transport box and move them next door. And now we're off to the wild dog enclosure to set the cages there so that we can catch the wild dogs and move them in here. African wild dog is an endangered species. Like other large carnivores, they need huge home ranges to hunt in. In southern Africa, only 12% of the historical home ranges still exist. Upon smelling the meat in the capture cages, one of the dogs immediately investigates. Rudy heads back to the cheetah enclosure to see if there's been any success. But disappointment. The meat wasn't enough of an incentive to lure the cheetahs into the cages. With time running out, Rudy decides on plan B, to dart them. Okay, one down, one to go. Okay, okay. These, are, these cats didn't go into the capture cage, as we said, so we had no other option but to dart them. So the darts went in, we're going to give them 15 to 20 minutes and then they'll be sleeping. Once they're asleep, we'll move them to another camp, into with other cheetahs. This camp will open up for the wild dogs and the wild dog camp will open up for the caracals. So Animal Sudoku, part three. Eye drops are administered to keep their eyes moist while under sedation. A blindfold is also put on to help keep them calm and prevent visual stimuli. With the cheetah sedated, it's the perfect opportunity for Rudy to do a quick checkup to make sure they are healthy. They are taken to their new enclosure. Rudy keeps an eye on them until they're fully awake. You can see one is all awake already. Got a bit of a hangover. The only problem is the other cheetah that's in this enclosure is not very human friendly, so we need to be a little bit careful. Once they've woken up, they'll be okay with each other. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Ah, they are in. These two grew up in captivity and are used to people. Because of their curious nature and probably high energy demands, these dogs went into the capture cages. And sometimes their curiosity leads to their downfall. Leska's brother, Caleb, we lost a year ago. He was bitten by a snake. And it's probably because of his curious nature was fiddling with the snake and got bitten. 
But these guys are now ready. We can move them to the new enclosure. Okay, come. Let us here in the fat. See the fingers, but not the fingers too far in the stick. You can take a finger to verloor in the process. One, two, three. Wild dogs, they are in their new camp. Cheetahs have moved to their new camp. Wild dog camp is open now. So all that needs to be done now is the caracals must move into the wild dog enclosure. And Jupiter is one step closer to his new enclosure. And I am in phase three of Animal Sudoku. Caracals are stealthy and agile. They are also fearless and won't hesitate to try and take down prey much bigger than themselves. Usually, they're mostly active at night. caracals to voluntarily go into the capture cages so we don't need to immobilize them. It's a waiting game. Alex is here to make it easier. Maybe if Alex is in the box. Sit Alex in his box. Alex, cheers. Okay. One is in. That's just easy. Now the other two. That bogger there, he is the easiest one. He is a big one. He's a big one for the blue bullet. Weg. Come. That's it. Come, come, come. Hey, amper, amper. Yeah. Okay. You're going from the other side. Go in the net and you're ready. Last one in, we've got two down, one to go. There was no diagon after him. Okay, bro. <laughs> Mooi! <laughs> three out of three. Okay, now can I my pile of here on bear? When you two rooikatting geneers, it may open your slot. Kijk, maak eens bij je blij daarover. Want nou hoef ons niet die rooikat aan die slaap te maken.
Ik heb een plot op de lucht. Het is goed, Abraham, maak maar op. Oké, okay, cheers, Owens. Dan gaat jullie. Oké, okay, goed, we zijn uit. Nu de laatste stap: de Jupiter. Dit is een nieuwe cheetahs into the camp next door and then I moved the wild dogs into the cheetah camp and then I came back and moved the caracals into the wild dog enclosure mm. but I did exactly what you asked. Oh okay I'm very happy because there's still one more to do and yeah. I need your help to come and help me. Okay. It's okay relax. Goed kreeg. Goedemiddag. So this little cat is going to go in with Medusa. The reason why we haven't done it in the beginning is because she was really small. And uh, Medusa can snap. And if it's a young cat, she can kill her. Now she's six months older and she can physically fight back if needed. But hopefully with Medusa that it's going to be a very good relationship in this camp. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. It's two weeks later and it seems as if Jupiter has difficulty walking, so she's taken to a vet. The x-rays show that one of her legs has a fracture. What, what you want to do is you want to put a pin in there yeah. and then two screws like that. Yeah, or two cross pins, depending on what we find, what, what's the easiest, but most likely, yeah. Pins. Okay. And, and you think it's an old, old fracture? Well, I think so, because of that arthrosis up there. Yeah. It's probably an old fracture, but okay. we'll open and see. But it does look like an old fracture, unfortunately. Just like in a human theater, where we would operate with humans, everything is done in a sterile way, and Minty has prepared, prepared everything sterilely. Um, the packs look the same as in humans, it's a normal orthopedic pack, um, and now the caracol is under anesthesia, on an inhalation anesthesia, the same gas that we use in humans. In prayer? The main difference between a human theater and an animal theater. In a human theater, x-rays comes to you. In an animal theater, the patient goes to the x-rays. The, the alignment is all right. It's not perfect, but she can now open and put in the screws. After the operation, Jupiter is taken back to Nan Kusi. A fortnight later, she's taken back to the vet for a checkup. So 
So we can feel now, just before the x-ray, that the pin has moved, but the leg feels solid. So we'll, uh, we'll look on the x-ray now to see if we actually have callus formation and the fracture has healed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This pin has moved a little bit and it's just under the skin now. And it, there's a very good chance that that will eventually go through the skin or form an inflammation under the skin. So what we're gonna do is Minty's just gonna make a little cut there and pull out that pin and then it should be fine. So we finished, x-ray looks good, fin's been removed. We're gonna take her back to Nankuse now while she's sleeping, and then she can wake up on the other side back in the enclosure. The animals in captivity at Nankuse are monitored continuously to make sure they are in good health. When animals get injured in the wild, they have to make do without a vet. Very often they succumb to their wounds, or are unable to hunt or forage for food and starve from hunger. Jupiter's fracture has healed completely and she can join the other caracals in their enclosure. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager.